welcome to my channel so what i want to do today is a slight tutorial because i will be speeding it up so yeah semi tutorial on how i uh straighten my hair and i relax so i consider it straightened but natural it will be considered a silk press so but it's the same same way i go through it the same way for my customers whether they relax or natural so i'm going to do it i'm gonna show you guys some of the tools i use it's crazy because i had to pull them all out of my let me show you out of my bag this is considered my stylist bag how cute it's cute ain't it? it's cute yeah so i'm going to do the tutorial because i'm tired of being in the house looking like this i look a hot mess i um shampoo my hair shampoo deep condition and i blew my hair out almost a week ago i didn't do anything with it so now i'm going to do it now so yeah I'm gonna show you guys. So I have my flat irons. Let me see if you guys can see this. Baby, Babyless Pro flat irons. And these are the ones I use. They are so good when it comes to doing a silk press. I can do uh, one pass on the whole hair strand, but on the base, I usually do maybe at the max two to three passes on the base part and then all the way down i do one pass and it gets the job done every single person comes back with their hair curly and it helps seal in the moisture for my deep conditions my anti-breakage treatments it really helps lock in that moisture from that so every time a person get their hair done by me they always let me know like my hair feel much better it's easy to detangle and everything of that sort so i love these now i can't say let me tell you guys i've been doing silk presses for a very long time it takes a long it takes a minute before you become to the point of where it's easy and you know how to go through it because it is a lot of steps to it this is just the like the second part of what um what i do when it comes to the silk press because it all really de depends on the shampoo and the treatments that you get if you of course every time i shampoo i do an excellent job so the shampoo matters and the treatments that you get matters when it comes to getting the maximum results of your silk presses so also i use this as a gloss and I have a lot of Mazzani products. And once uh, the salon open back up, I don't know if you guys can see that. Once the salon open back up, I will be having these, all these products I'm showing you in stock. So you can purchase them on my website. And this is a gloss. So either I'll be using this. Well, no, this will be the gloss I'll be using at the end. It helps with flyaways. It helps with uh, locking in the the shine um flyaways moisture uh it's another heat protector it seals the end it's a binder so it's like a miracle in a bottle seriously and this is my heat protector and i use a little a little go a long way with this it does have a pump let me see because my last pump i messed it up but i don't know if this one oh yeah the pump still work so one little drop let me let me not lie two drops is enough and like i said my hair is relaxed so i can when i'm doing natural i'll probably increase the drops but um with mine i don't like my hair to be weighed down with a lot of products so i don't just slap on products for no reason and before i did that let me go in my bag again before I did that, I already put in my um, leave-in conditioner, and this one also has a heat protector with it. So it's just double the pleasure, double the fun. So, and now let's get into this tutorial. Oh, and make sure you have 
clippies and I always when it comes to detangling doing my silk press anything I use wooden cones and I need to order me some more but I always use wooden cones every single time time I will be parting my hair and like I said this tutorial I will be speeding up I will be uh so relax I don't get relaxers monthly I get them like when I try to stretch my relaxers to like three to six months in between depending on what occasion is coming up depending on how um how my hair feel or whatever like that but due to the fact that I keep up with my treatments and I constantly say that because it matters it matters it matters if you're not doing it, then, yeah, then you get the results that you had. But, like, consistently getting your treatments and things like that, it matters. So, and like I said, it's no longer blinking. And now I can just go through, straighten my hair. In the back, it's kind of hard doing it yourself, but I say always, I didn't do this part it in fours. It makes it so much easier, and you have a lot of control over your hair when you part it in fours. <clears throat> And I want to say the last time I had a relaxer, I want to say mm, going on three months. So, and I'm still going to stretch it because I have no reason to relax it. Like if I, as long as I'm doing my part of making sure I keep my hair conditioned, even though it has the two textures, it will not break. It won't. Now, when you allow your hair to dry out and you're not taking care of it, you're not putting in that extra work of doing your deep conditions, your hot oil treatments, your anti-breakage treatments, just in case you guys are wondering, like, what's the extra work you talking about? It absolutely is going to break, hands down. It don't matter if you're relaxed or natural. And just the, I know relaxers get a bad rap. A lot of people are like, mm, uh-uh, I'm natural for life. And it's nothing wrong with that. But uh, it's also nothing wrong with relax either. It's more of you and how you care for your hair. If you're not caring for your hair, whether it's, rela whether it's natural or not, it's going to show. It's going to show that you're not caring for it. And it shows in shedding, breakage, uh, your hair being weak, dehydration. Like, that's how it shows up in your level of care. Hair loss, alopecia. Like, if you're not dealing with any type of medical issue and these things are happening, you got to start, go back to the beginning. And ask yourself, how am I really taking care of my hair? And if you're not taking care of it right, then be honest with yourself. Invest in somebody else to take care of it that you trust, that you research. And you know that this person cares. Um, pay attention to how they take care of their own hair. That matters. Okay. Okay, I'm back. So I did my back in this side and this side. So I'm finishing up on my what's this my right hand side so. like i said one pass 
and I'm doing it. Okay, so I have this last piece, and yeah, my camera's about to die. So I'm gonna try to charge it, and I'll be back with the second step. So I'm kind of the tuck the my hair behind the ear type of person, and due to the fact I haven't had a relaxer, I can't have that. You know, my little piece, my little sideburn. But I'm going to show you guys. So I put my oils in there. So now I have my body rollers. So this is, they're two different sides. And I alternate from uh, the smaller the roller, the higher the height, the bigger the roller, the lower the height. So I alternate. And I only have four. And I'm gonna pick up more because I really, 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 really like those. So I use a different curling iron when it comes to curling because that is for to get my hair straight and to get my customer's hair straight, but this is to give it the curl. So like if I want whatever type of curl I want. So let me get to it. Okay. How do I? I think I'm gonna take all of this over to this side and then have this like that. So right in here, you could take bigger partons, parts, I said partons, and that's when you start giving it that curl. So a slight bump. light bump just a bump a little bump boop that's it you don't gotta get fancy then you calm that down your hair is already straight so you just need that bump for that volume look at that sis come on come through with the bump. Just at the end, hit it with a slight bump. Make sure them ends is bump, okay. And then what you do, cause I don't know if I want this to be high, really high up in here, so I take this and I comb it to make sure it's smooth. And I apply it on on the ends and then hit it downward. See? Let's do that again. Just imagine the height. <laughs> okay, let me hear you up because I don't got that much time. So, this one is my last one. And I'm going to use the big one. Hit that just like that. Boom. Just a little bump. Nothing major. Don't hit that. Don't curve that hand too hard. Cause then it, it will look it will look real country. Do not don't be curving the hand like this. No, you just gentle. Slow and steady wins the race. I'll be right back. I'm gonna let this sit. Let this sit on my hair for probably like 15, 20 seconds. Okay, so I'm back. I'm back, so I let it sit. 
And so I'm about to take my oil. And well, let me take out my rollers first. So you can start from where you started from. I put my roller here first and take that out. And then take this one out. And then this one. And then this one. So, as you can see, it doesn't take your hair out. So, now I don't have to run around here looking a high mess. Like I said, you got your body right in here. And got your body right here. Okay, so I am through. And I just allow my hair to do what it wants to do. Sometimes it wants to be on this side and give me life. And sometimes it don't. But, yeah. I love it. So like, comment, and subscribe. And also, you can look at the bottom and it has all my social media um, platforms. And if you want to book your appointment, please do so, do so by going to my website. And if you need to purchase some items, you can do that. Products, I said items. But if you need to purchase some products, you can do that on my website also. So thank you. Bye. This vein is giving me life. Yes. I ain't even going nowhere. I don't have not one place to go. Oh, but I am going to do a Zoom video uh, later on today. So, might as well look cute. Don't be coming in here looking a hot mess. <laughs>